Hey everybody, Temple Crazed here. So I wanted to go over um, the annex grading sheet with you. I've already filled out a lot of the information here except for my name and address and stuff. Uh, this is not going to get submitted right away. Um, I just wanted to go over it with you. So the pile of coins that I have listed here, I'll just show you real quick. We got the 73 and 74 trade dollars. You know, everybody keeps going back and forth of whether they're real or not. The easiest way to find out, I'm just going to send them in and pay to see if they, they are. We got this one here that, um, I don't know, the... One person says they think it might be dye deterioration. I still don't think so. I think it's like a strike through or something. Um, we got the uh, low leaf here, FS901. Uh, one of my toned ones. Another one of the toned. The best one of the toned. We got the uh, 1859 here. Here's the FS502 double die lid. We have a uh, 43 Philly here. 43 Denver. This one, I believe, is the full stepper. Another 43 Denver. The 1909 VDB. Uh, 2001 Broad Strike. Uh, 55 Denver for the heck of it. The uh, 13 Type 1. 1904 New Orleans. New Orleans. And the 1881 San Francisco here. Alright, so I'm going to move. I'm going to do this kind of manually here. So bear with me. Alrighty, here we go. So there's the 64s, the two that are the same. Owner's value is $200. That's what I figure they are worth together. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to do that separately or together. I'm not sure. But as you see at the top, do not send mint packages or staples or tape. Sorry about all the wiggling. Place coins in two and a half by two and a half numbered flips and bind flips with rubber bands. So those are the numbers on the left-hand side that you use. There's all the different coins there. There's my varieties. There's my total owner's value. 15 days, what I went with. $20 a coin because I could get, do up to two up to $2,000 per coin and uh, the 1909 I think is worth about a thousand so it was kind of a requirement to go that way and I couldn't do modern because well I could have but on some of them but not on like the 1909 and stuff so so we have 18 coins goes to 17 but we have two for that top one so 18 coins at $20 a coin, it's $360. I did go ahead and initial to allow professional con conservation of up to 20 coins, you know, so if they feel that there's something that needs to be conserved, they'll go ahead and do it. That 120 is in the wrong spot. That should be down where the, for the attributes is. Oops. So it's $12 per coin for those attributes. Then there's the shipping and handling, which I'll show you where I got that from. And there's my total right there. $584. It's a lot of money to get coins uh, cons or, uh, done up like this. So, All right. So there's another sheet here where you take that, that value, that owner's value right here. And I got 5 to 20 coins, and then 1,001 to 5,000, so right there, $45. That's that's how you come up with that value. So, again, this is not getting sent in. 
Um, it'll probably end up getting redone because it'll be after the first and this form expires at the end of the year. Get over there so I can show you. There we go. December 31st. So I'll probably redo the form anyway with the newest uh, stuff when it comes out. But yeah, this is, that's how you do it. And then, like I say, you put the coins into the correct flips like, and don't staple them. You rubber band them and then you number them with the numbers that you got there on the left. And I recommend also putting them in order. So, you know, one, one on top all the way down through. And I might even, this this top one here, the 64, the two 64s, I might even separate those two and so that I'd so that they know it's like I'm saying it's a hundred dollars each, not two hundred dollars each, and uh, do that, and then I'll have one through eighteen here, and who knows I might add a couple more, and then I'd have one through twenty. Um, at the top you'll put in your name, your uh, address, blah blah blah, all that, your email there. And then, come here, you. Down here, you got your, oh, down here you have to sign. It's not valid unless you sign it. And, um, and then down here, check number, money order, card. I'm not going to do card. I'll, I'll do a check for it or a money order. So, yeah, that's it. That's how you do it. Expensive to get coins graded. I've said this before. It's way, way too expensive, honestly. But these coins are all coins that I personally know are worth decent money. And, uh... I've offered them up to people in the past for really good discounts and nobody's accepted those discounts because they don't like the high prices. So, um, for instance, like the Morgan dollars, people want to only pay, you know, 35, 40 bucks for these and their calls are 35, 40 bucks. These things are a hundred, 150 each. But people don't want to do that. They don't want to pay that kind of money. And I, I get it. I mean, it's a lot of money. But, you know, you got to pay what something's worth if you want it, right? So, that's why I say, I mean, if I get it graded, then I can say, hey, here's the grade. Here's how much it's worth. There you go. You know what I'm saying? It That, that makes it easier to tell people here's what the item is worth so there you go that's how you do the uh, annex submission it's pretty sim simple pretty straightforward uh like i say you just put your coins that you're going to send off you know in a and these are two by twos they're not two two and a half by two and a half these are the two by two but you'd put your coin that you're going to put you know let's say let's say i was going to send this one off oops this one off you'd put it in here yeah, get over there and then you just number it whichever number it is and you wouldn't staple it or anything you just leave it like that and then you just pile them up and then wrap them in a rubber band it's a real pain in the butt to do it this way but that's how they want it so because you know it's going to sit like that while you're doing your stuff and then you got to try to get them all together and stuff it's not the funnest, but whatever. So there you go. There you have it. That's how you do it. If you got any questions or anything, let me know. Drop a comment down there, and I'll try to help you out through it. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. And oh, as always, have a good one.